In this video, we will show you how to run tests against web applications with Silk4j and Docker. Running tests in Docker containers provides the following advantages. CI integration. You can better integrate your Silk4j tests into your existing CI workflow. Cross-platform. You can run tests on any platform and even in the cloud. No software setup. Once the Docker containers are in place, you do not have to install any additional software on the machines that will execute the tests. No manual browser updating. You always get the latest browser versions when using the images provided by the Selenium team. Background execution. You can run the tests in the background while working on other things. Silk4j supports the following three scenarios. Scenario 1. Running tests against a browser that is packaged in a Docker container. The open agent and the test executor are running on your local Windows machine. This scenario is useful for test creation and debugging purposes, and it allows you to test on browser versions that you might not have installed locally. Scenario 2. Running tests against a browser that is packaged in a Docker container through an open agent that is running in another Docker container. The browser and the open agent communicate with each other through a Docker network. The test executor is running on your local Windows machine. This scenario could be used to debug automation issues. And Scenario 3. Running tests entirely from Docker containers. The test executor, the open agent and the browser run in three separate Docker containers. They communicate with each other through a Docker network. This is the setup you will most likely use when integrating with CI systems like Jenkins. Silk4j provides a basic Docker image, named functional testing slash silk test. It contains the open agent and the capabilities to run Silk4j tests. You can download the image from the Docker Hub. Running your tests in Docker containers is straightforward and provides a number of benefits. So make sure to try it out.